Assalamu alaikum students, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to study quarter text. The level score is 9709. Now you know that we are dealing with the very first topic, quarter text. And as you know that we are studying the very first topic and this is the third lesson in the series. That's why it is written 1.3 so that you can easily arrange and follow through. Topic is Quadratix, A-level Mathematics and Discriminant means Nature of Roots. We know this is a quadratic equation and we use the formula, quadratic formula to solve the equation. Let's do some examples. x squared minus 3x minus 4. Just plug in the values in the quadratic formula. After solving it, we have two roots, minus 1 and 4. If you focus on the value which is inside the square root, which is 25, and this is the answer for b square minus 4ac, this answer is positive 25. So, whenever the answer of the discriminant is positive, this means that our quadratic curve or quadratic equation will have two roots. Again, quadratic formula, let's do one more example x squared minus 6x plus 9, just plug in the values. Now this time we have same answer, 3 and 3. Now if you notice inside the bracket, b squared minus 4ac, this time is 0. So whenever it is 0, this means that our curve is intersecting the x-axis at one point. That is, we will have one root. Let's do one more example, quadratic formula x squared minus 3x plus 4, plug in the values. This time, inside the square root, we have negative 7. We know that we cannot find out the square root of a negative number. So, whenever the, the discriminant value is negative, this means our curve is not intersecting the x-axis. That is, we don't have any root. So, so far we have learned that if the discriminant is greater than 0, this means two roots. If it is equal to 0, means one root. If it is less than 0, this means we don't have any real root. Now let's have a quick summary about the discriminant. If the discriminant is greater than 0, whether the shape is U-shape or N-shape, it will intersect the x-axis at two points. If the discriminant is equal to zero, this means that the x-axis is intersecting the curve at one point, that is we have one root. And on the other hand, if the discriminant is less than zero, that is negative, this means that the curve is not intersecting the x-axis. In case of U-shape, it is above to x-axis. In case of N-shape, it is below to x-axis. Now let's do some examples. Work out whether the following equations have one root, two roots or no roots. Let's solve them one by one. For the first part, we apply the discriminant. As a result, the answer is zero. This means that we have one root. Let's do the second example. Again, plug in the values. Now, the discriminant value is 93. This shows that we have two distinct values, two roots. For the C part, discriminant is negative. This means no real root. When we have one root or two root, one root or two root means the roots are real. If we don't have any root, this means no point on x-axis. This is also known as complex roots. Now let's do one more example to further strengthen our concept. We are given with a quadratic equation, px square plus 5x plus p. This equation has two distinct real roots. Find the range of possible values of p. Now in this question, we have one other variable other than x and we are also given with the nature of roots. So the roots are real and distinct. So this means 
that the discriminant would be greater than zero. Let's write down this inequality and plug in the values. After solving it, we have the range of values of P for which this equation will have distinct real roots. Let's solve another example. Find the value of P for which the quadratic equation has equal roots. Now again, in this example, we are given with the nature of roots. So here the discriminant would be B square minus 4AC equals to zero because roots are equal means one root. Substitute the values, simplify it, and then factorize it. We will have two values of P, P equals to zero, or p equals to 0 0.4 but as we know it is written that it's a quadratic equation whenever we have a quadratic equation this means that the coefficient of x square should not be 0 because if coefficient of x square is 0 then this means it would become a straight line so by the definition of quadratic equation p cannot be 0 so we say that p is equal to 0 is not possible so the only possibility is p is equal to 0 0.4 so the final answer is p equals to 0 0.4 if we have a linear curve and a quadratic curve then what will happen we will solve them simultaneously after eliminating x or y as a result the final equation would be in quadratic form on that quadratic form we will apply the discriminant if our discriminant is positive negative or zero according after looking at the sign we will conclude whether the line and the curve has point of intersection or not that is these are three possibilities if discriminant is greater than zero this means that the line and the curve are intersecting at two points if discriminant is equal to zero this means line and the curve are intersecting at one point if the discriminant is less than zero it means the line and the curve are intersecting at no point no point of intersection and one more thing that if the discriminant is equal to zero then that line is also known as tangent Now let's apply this in one example. We have a quadratic curve and the line. We have to prove that the line and the curve are not intersecting at any point. So the first step is the same. First step is simple, that's eliminate y. In, by equating the two values of y, we have a quadratic equation in x. Now we have to prove that the line and the curve are not intersecting. This means that they don't have any point of intersection. They don't, they don't have any root. So let's apply the discriminant. After applying the discriminant and solving it, we have its value negative. Negative means no root. This shows that the line and the curve does not intersect. If that value, let's say if it is zero, then, then we say that the line and the curve are tangent. For example, if the, if the b square minus 4ac value is 17, positive 17, then we, we would say that the line and the curve are intersecting at two points. Let's do one more question. If the line and the curve does not intersect, now this time we are given with the condition. We are given with the nature of roots that the line and the curve are not intersecting at any point. In either case, the first step is the same. That is, solve them simultaneously. Let's eliminate the y variable simplify it and after simplification we have an equation in terms of x now as we are given with its nature that the line is not intersecting it means no root so the discriminant would be p square minus 4ac less than zero now let's plug in the values simplify it after simplification we have a linear inequality sometimes that inequality is quadratic as well which we will study in the next lesson after simplification we have the value of c so in this case the value of c should be less than minus 1 over 24 in that case 
the line will not intersect the curve. I hope that you have fully understood the concept of discriminant, how we can use it to find out the nature of fruits and how can we find out that whether the line and the curve are intersecting or not. In the coming lesson, we will study how can we solve a quadratic inequality, how can we solve an equation which is not a quadratic one, and we will further go in the deep down in the concept of quadratics so that our first concept is finished. We have just eight concepts, eight topics to cover after that, that paper one of the syllabus will be finished. Keep learning, keep smiling and keep coming back to this channel. Till then, bye bye.